And welcome back to Daybreak OC. I am Ben. Now, new statistics show that more than 180,000 women are going to be diagnosed with breast cancer this year, making preventative procedures a must. Shali is live now with our guest. Talk about a device that helps early detection. Yeah, Shally. it's called the Halo. And here to tell us more about this new device is Dr. Alice Police and Tracy Gavant, a patient who has also used this. We're going to talk to you just uh, in, in a minute about that. But, Doctor, first let's start off with talking about what is Halo. The Halo device is a five minute, non invasive, completely non invasive breast cancer risk assessment test. It doesn't tell you if you have breast cancer, it tells you what your risk level is. Oh, okay, so it doesn't detect any kind of stuff, but this is something that you would do almost like preventative. That's exactly right. Just like you get your cervical pap smear every year, mm -hmm. you would come and have a pap smear for the breast or the halo test, which takes your nipple aspirate fluid okay. and evaluates it for a marker for high risk called atypia. Okay, what does it mean when it says five minutes a day? Is this something that you would it's need to do? It's not five minutes a it's day. Not. It's five minutes once a year. Once a year, five right. minutes, that's all you need to right. do. Okay, and you do this in, in addition to your yearly mammogram right. and possibly some other risk assessment tests depending on your level of risk. Okay, and you do this in the doctor's office? That's right. All doctors have this now? All doctors do not have this. Oh. What we're trying to do is get primary care doctors to adopt this. And a lot of primary care doctors are worried that they won't know what to do with the results. They just need to refer the patient to a breast center that knows how to do high risk evaluation. Okay, does it hurt? You know, I don't think it hurts at all. Some people think it hurts. I'd just like to show you a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, this is the device that goes on the breast and the fluid is collected in this little uh, rubber diaphragm. And it pulls fl fluid out of the breast It then. uses warmth uh. and massage to pull fluid out of your nipple. Okay, and that's what's tested then? That's right. And only 50% of people will have fluid that's available for testing. 50% we will get no fluid. We would get no fluid at all. Now Tracy, you learned about this in, yes. in a pamphlet I heard or a doctor's yes. office. Tell I us about that. I went my annual exam and um, there was a pamphlet at the front desk and I asked my GYN about it and she explained to me that it's a five minute test and it's a preventive measure. Um, and herself, she uses it. So I had it done and I had um, discharge from my right breast. Okay. And it came back with atypical cells. What does that mean? Um, not normal cells. Okay. So I was immediately referred to Dr. Police and um, was given an ultrasound, uh, an additional mammogram, which I had had a mammogram probably six months prior. Wow. That didn't show anything suspicious. But the ultrasound and um, MRI showed that I had polyps in my right breast, and they needed to be removed. My goodness, what is that like for you to to feel like you all the things that are out there that we know about the mammograms and you you were doing all that stuff regularly, right. and then something that you just picked up on a pamphlet, a, a new right. a device um, was able to detect this for you. I think it's fabulous, and I think that the future is just showing all these preventative things that women and men need to be doing to protect their health. Yeah, we tend to forget about not something that we think about right every right. single day. And and it's very important for people like Tracy to be able to identify them at high as high-risk patients and then we can follow them and do other things and now Tracy's never going to get invasive breast cancer because we know she's high risk and we're going to follow her and, and be able to um, do things about it if she shows any future signs. Oh, that's wonderful. What great news today. We want to thank Dr. Alice uh, Police and Tracy Gavant. And for more information, is there a way that uh, they, they just contact your office? Or? They can contact our office or their local OBGYN or primary care doctor, which is where the test should be done. We have it in our own office, mostly to get the primary care doctors in the community to start okay. using it by legitimizing it, having it a breast center. Called the HALO.